Hi, everyone. Welcome to Here We Are, Brad Burrell's community talk show. I'm Wendy O'Connell, and we're here today with Kate Trasick. Kate is the Executive Director of Downtown Brattleboro Alliance, whose focus is to nurture and support the vitality of downtown Brattleboro through community and economic development. Kate is an innovative leader with international experience, and she promotes positive social change through the arts, education, and business. She also has a very, very cool side hustle that she's going to talk to us about today. Welcome, Kate. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being on the show. Um, you have been busy since day one, I believe, yes. at your job. And it's been, what, two years now? Just over two years, yeah. Okay. And you took over for Stephanie Bonin, mm -hmm. um, who had been there through the pandemic, mm -hmm. before the pandemic, uh, for a few years as well. Yes. Um, so she really established something that uh, you were able to come into. Absolutely. Yeah. And Erin Skaggs as well. And Erin Skaggs. Who was the through line who stuck with me. She does our creative events and promotion. Mm -hmm. um, she's often the one who is doing our social media and just yeah. has a really great voice yes. um, that we love. And she's usually in 10 places at once, I notice, at, at Gallery Walk. Yes. Yeah, doing lots of different things. Yes. Yeah, so you have a team of one and a half, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm the one, she's the half. Yep. <laughs> we recently moved in May to 57 Elliott Street. Yes. And it's wonderful because it allows us to be more accessible and visible. Yeah. And we have an entrance also in the Harmony lot. Mm -hmm. And since our gallery walk event takes place back there, it's great to be right on the scene. Yeah, you're in a perfect location for mm -hmm. that. And for, um, for those of us who have been here forever, um, it's that wonderful little uh, store that's a little cutaway between the Indian restaurant and um, the tower. The, the tower, and it used to be B. Robinson for those of us who remember, which is yeah. a really long time ago. Um, one of Brattleboro's great dress shops. Kate, we're, we're already into uh, downtown Brattleboro Alliance, so we might as well stick with that for a while. Sure. Um, so you've gone through a, a lot of changes even the amount of time that you've been there. You've, you've had to do a lot of things to, um, to get revenue coming in and to have things settle into a different kind of formation post-pandemic, for mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. um, you're a Main Street America model. We are. And if you could tell folks what that means. Sure. So the downtown program in Vermont began in 1998. And it's modeled off of the National Main Street America model mm -hmm. that has four pillars being promotion, economic development, um, design, and organization. Uh -huh. So when you think about placemaking and design, that's our flower program, that's yeah. the holiday lights program. Um, when you think about promotion, that's events like Gallery Walk and Love Crawl, um, as well as our Plaid Friday campaign. Yeah. Um, economic development, we're stepping into more strongly mm -hmm. um, with a new initiative called Brattleboro Thrives. Uh -huh. And organization is just who we are. You know, it's interesting because I'm sure like many folks in the audience and many folks in town, um, all of the things that you just listed, mm -hmm. I did not realize that a lot of those were under the DBA. Uh -huh. We are the designated nonprofit organization for the town of Brattleboro. Mm -hmm. Again, going back to the downtown program. And we have a downtown investment district, which is about the three square blocks of Main Street. Yeah. Um, and so our charge when we think about vitality in downtown, it's really about the people. Um, the folks who own businesses and who are there every day, as well as people who come down to shop and dine or work, yeah. as well as tourists. Um, and so that's where the vitality is. Yeah. Um, and, and it's really a pleasure for us to not only do the programs that I talked about, but also to serve as amplification um, engine to promote all the good work that others are doing downtown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the individual stores and yeah. their own personas. Yeah, and the arts and culture organizations and all of it. Right, right. I was just thinking as you were talking that um, downtown goes through so many changes. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, again, you know, I've been here for 44 years and the storefronts, in fact, I've always thought that someone should do a flip book 
of the storefronts yeah. in, in downtown because of all the changes. The fact that we had, we used to have um, department stores here. We mm -hmm. had, I think, three different department stores at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was just thinking about Beadniks mm -hmm. and the flooding mm -hmm. that just happened there. And so downtown is very emotional, right? Yeah, well, it's always changing, that's it's, for sure. It's always changing. And yeah. I, but I think that I would guess that when you heard about Beadniks, you know, like, you know, you think, okay, there is, you know, the tragedy of that, but also an empty space in downtown. Yeah, yeah. Well, as soon as we heard, you know, we called Brian immediately and said, how do we help? Yeah. And so I'm able to put the, the call out and the other businesses really rallied and came down to help bringing boxes, packing material, oh, wow. lending a hand. Yeah. Um, so in that way, it's it's great. There's definitely a community down there. Mm -hmm. um, but to your point, I think, yeah, downtown is going to continue to evolve and change as time goes on. Mm -hmm. Department stores in particular, um, that retail model has proven that it's not really working anymore, yeah. right? Entire mm -hmm. malls are shutting down. Yeah. And so when we look at Main Street, um, I think we are often nostalgic for the past mm -hmm. and and think about a time um, that may or may not have actually existed uh -huh. when everything was wonderful <laughs> um, and there's you know but there's always been empty storefronts on Main Street always and there's always been new businesses that come and go yep. and um, and that's what keeps it I think active and thriving as well yeah it keeps it vibrant when you were in college you studied um, uh, art history, psychology. Yes. You got a master in, in museum education. Mm -hmm. So you were you were going down the art track a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So I studied, as you said, art history and psychology. I thought I would end up as an art therapist, mm -hmm. um, but I, I went to a master's program that I checked out and I said, oh, actually, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so um, I... I've always been drawn to art um, ever since I was little, mm -hmm. both, um, you know, creating art myself as well as just appreciating it. Um, and so finding out that museum education was an option was really great. After I graduated from undergrad, I moved back to um, Wilmington, Delaware, where I'm from. Yes. And I had a job at the um, Delaware History Museum and then went to the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And from there went to Longwood Gardens where mm -hmm. I spent seven years developing the K through 12, um, you know, field trip curriculum programs and programs for adults. And though I'm not a horticulturalist, I approached it as a living collection. Mm -hmm. And I was surrounded by amazing uh, experts. So I learned a lot and I think, you know, I love learning. If I could be a student full time again, I would do it. Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> it's just, which is exciting being in this role because I'm always learning right. here as well. So, you know, I don't have an MBA in business, um, but I think that I do bring um, a lot of other skills that mm -hmm. are really important to the work. Going back for a minute to Longwood Gardens, yeah. which is where you were outside of Philadelphia, um, that's an amazing place. Yes. It must have been wonderful to work there. It's incredible. Yeah. It is a absolute bucket list destination. Yes. Um, and I think also gave me the confidence or inspired me as we thought about the holiday light display this past year. Oh. And um, Christmas at Longwood is not to be missed. So if oh. you've never been, oh, I'll bet it's amazing. add it to your list. But, um, you know, adding the lights over Main Street yeah. and really, I think we want to continue to grow that program year after year. Mm -hmm. I think Brattleboro could be a destination um, at the holiday time. How did you come to Brattleboro? I came to Brattleboro in 2011 the weekend that um, Tropical Storm Hyrene hit. Oh, yeah, good timing. <laughs> it was great timing. I lived on High Street, so I didn't flood, oh. but I walked you know, down to the garage and looked over yeah. Flat Street and all of that. But I came here to attend SIT uh -huh. at World Learning. Yep. What were you going for at SIT? I did the what we affectionately referred to as the Choose Your Own Adventure major, which was <laughs> Intercultural Service Leadership and Management. The campus was still alive and vibrant, a lot of people doing a lot of different things. Yes, yes, yes. And I met amazing people who are still my friends today, oh, nice. many of whom also stayed in the area. Uh -huh. um, 
and there's a lot there's a lot of us from from SIT yeah. I think who are in leadership roles now yeah. um, at many nonprofits. Yes. After I graduated from SIT, I was at the Greenwood School in Putney mm -hmm. for two years as a residential faculty. I found a role at Marlboro College. Mm -hmm. And my, I think my original title was non-degree programs. Um, and so I worked with the high school program, mm -hmm. um, the dual enrollment, as well as pre-college, some of the semester intensive programs like Movies from Marlboro mm -hmm. and um, some work with Meg Mott. And then I did some adult education programs as well. You were also on three of the most beautiful campuses in town. Yes. Here are the most beautiful places in town. Really? Yeah, you've established a life here. I have. Yes. Yeah, and I really have. A family. I do. Now that you're a downtown Brattleboro Alliance, you're completely Yeah, it's embedded. great. My kids, the first gallery walk that I was working, I had BCTV with me. Yay. So we were walking around doing our popping into galleries and talking to folks. And my husband, we turned the corner on High Street, and there was my husband and two children. And they saw me with, you know, camera people <laughs> behind me, and they were like, oh, Mom. And um, so it was, yeah, that was a real thrill for them. And uh, they call me the downtown director. That's so cool. Yeah. There's so many things that, that, that you do at DBA, um, all the things that you mentioned. Um, and Gallery Walk was really sort of the, the center of, of DBA, right? Yeah, I think at this point that is definitely our signature program. Mm -hmm. um, it's a program that's had a really long history in Brattleboro, I think close to 30 years. Yeah. Joy started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And um, and so the galleries had always first Fridays, openings, mm -hmm. there was a program. Um, and then and we were approached to say, you know, it, it, we're in a transition. Wyndham um, Arts Council, yes. I think, approached us. Uh -huh. And so um, that was actually when Stephanie was still as the director. Mm -hmm. So Stephanie and Aaron um, said, yes, we'll take this on. And then, of course, the pandemic hit. And so there were some um, virtual gallery walks there for a minute. But what we've added, I think, to the program is um, is to create a central gathering space for mm -hmm. Gallery Walk. Mm -hmm. And it's so important for us that people have a positive felt experience in downtown. Yeah. And one of the ways to do that is to share it with your friends and neighbors. Mm -hmm. And so now Gallery Walk, um, you know, any given month, there's 15 to 19 galleries that are participating. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a outdoor stage yes. and free music. We have uh, food trucks for outdoor dining. We have a beautiful community table. Yeah. We have um, different organizations that are tabling, talking about what they're doing in the community. Mm -hmm. We have um, the Brattleboro Flea right. on Elliott Street. So again, promoting local makers and artisans yeah. as we think about you know, cultivating entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and business. Um, and so really creating a destination yes. for folks. And what we love is when you, you know, walk, again, my family goes, my children love to go, yep. see their friends, they're tearing around the Harmony lot. Yes. Um, and it just feels like Brattleboro at its best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and so we're really proud of that. Oh, you should be really proud yeah. of it because it also, as you say, it's the hands on, it's the sensorial things mm -hmm. that really ground it. Like that long table, and you have a B Y O F, bring your own flowers yeah. to the table. Yeah. So you know when when the um, the PR goes out about Gallery Walk at any given any given month, there are all of these things that you realize. Oh, I could not only see this and see this but I could also do this and do this. And you have a lot of also wonderful people like um, Erin Miley O'Keefe, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. are, is, is doing Artful Streets during the summer. So mm -hmm. she has little pop-up things going on where people can create their own art in many various ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and just bringing in all kinds of different people from the community. Yeah, we want this to be our community signature event. And mm -hmm. we want it to feel that the community has ownership over that. Right. 
And so, you know, our partners at the Stone Church that help to, um, to book the stage. We also have, like you mentioned, Artful Streets. Erin has done a great job in connecting also with community yes. partners like the school district, yeah. for example, yeah. or mm -hmm. the library with, you know, Chess Alley, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. different ways, again, that um, encourage dialogue, encourage connection. And you're working also with the art wards, is that right? They assisted with the mural on, on High Street. On High Street, yes. Um, Abdullah is actually working on a mural in Harmony Lot right now, uh -huh. um, a band book mural. Great. So that's going to be great. Yeah. Um, and I think they have plans to also do some more work on Green Street. Oh, good. And then we, of course, have the, um, the mosaic mural across the street yes, in Pliny Park. Yes, the mosaic in Pliny Park. Yeah. yeah, we love that, There's too. There's a lot of stuff happening. And um, actually, the DBA, we got a Town Arts Fund grant as well. So there will be a call uh, for artists in the spring to submit designs for mini murals on the electrical boxes downtown. Oh, hooray. So That's we're calling so it Spark Street <laughs> <laughs> murals. That's so great. You've got yeah. so much going on. Yeah. It's really exciting. What I've noticed a lot, and, and I've talked about this with my husband and friends, is that there are so many younger people who are really stepping up. And, you know, I consider you a younger person. <laughs> because you are. You. <laughs> but it's, it's people in their, um, especially their 30s and 40s, mm -hmm. I think, um, and it includes 20s and 50s. But there are people who are really stepping up to take, take control of, I, don't, I, don't, I mean control in a really good way, yeah. to, just to step up to be part of downtown, to be part of the community. It's a real shift. Well, I think, you know, when you mentioned sort of the main street of the past, yeah. um, we've had some recent really amazing uh, stories with, you know, everyone's books. So Nancy selling to Red, right. and Red coming from California and, you know, taking on um, yes. the bookstore. Mm -hmm. We have Kate Berry, who purchased the Mocha Joe's Cafe, right, right from Pierre and That's Ellen. Right. yes. And and um, of course, Peter Case, mm -hmm. and um, with Burroughs, yep. and you know, continuing to work alongside with Woody, and it's, I think that's such a testament to those businesses yes. and their legacy and staying power. Yeah. But in addition, you know, you have the, um, you have Reagan comic books, yes. right? And you have um, the Void. The Void. The Void. Sure. Yeah. And. Uh, on Elliott Street, we have the Three Ring Apothecary. Yes. We've got Bear Degree. Um, if you haven't been there, Sherry it just has curated such a beautiful, yes. beautiful Both space there. Both of those there. businesses are really unusual. And yeah. An incredible addition. Also, Tavernier Chocolates oh, gosh. on Main Street. Getting Darren John to yes. Main Street was such a such a win. Yes, yes. <laughs> but in I think all ways. In yeah. all ways, yeah. yes. This speaks to um, retail can't strictly be retail anymore. Yeah, good point. And so the pandemic really accelerated how and changed people's behaviors. Mm -hmm. There's so much more online shopping. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people have said to me, oh, I really want a place downtown where I can buy my sheets and towels. Right. And I'm like, but do you really? Like, yeah. would that really happen? Yeah, right. um, I think that, you know, we need to think about retail and the experience of retail. Mm -hmm. So you're not just selling a product, but you are also creating and cultivating an experience. That's right. Downtown itself is an experience mm -hmm. that also needs to be cultivated mm -hmm. and curated mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that folks are choosing that because it's so easy, as we know, to sit and just type, 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 yep. you know, just yep. on your device. Mm -hmm. And then it arrives in a day or two. Right. That's right. So, so that's a challenge, but I think that we are absolutely ready to meet that challenge. That's really good to hear. Yeah. It's really good to hear because I think that we're all kind of making that transition, mm -hmm. you know, and thinking, you know, on one hand, what's happening to down Main Street downtown, mm -hmm. but to hear you talk, it's very heartening. Thank you. You know, <laughs> it is. Yeah, you know. well, and, and we want to... So we have coming up um, in December, the first three weekends of December, you know, when Sam's closed. Yeah. That was felt across the community, across the region. Yes. I mean, did. I would say that was a destination store. And especially from our old office perch on the second mm -hmm. floor, um, during November, December, every other person had a Sam's bag yeah. with them. So we knew going into the holiday season 
that we needed to do something. Mm -hmm. And so we are actually going to be doing a market on Main Street, uh, a holiday pop-up market in Sam's. Oh, great. And so we've partnered with Julia from the Brattleboro Flea. We've been reaching out to other artist collaboratives yeah. um, so that we have this beautiful curated market. Yeah. Um, again, to enliven that space, right. bring people back in there, another reason to come downtown yeah. um, and just add to that vibrancy. I'm so glad to hear that. That's really right, because it is, it's like a missing tooth. It does. A couple missing right, teeth. Right. Right. And yeah. everybody has ideas, right, about what it could be. Uh, um, so this is also, I think, serves as a little bit of a proof of concept. Yeah. You know, could it be like a Thorns Marketplace uh -huh. where you have the smaller mm -hmm. um, vendors? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, that's very exciting. Yeah. Well, that segues a little bit into your sideline, okay. um, which is, to me, very exciting. Um, we got a little taste of this at the literary festival the other night, mm -hmm. um, which was a, a wonderful literary festival. The it weather, was amazing. The yeah. weather could not have been better, for one thing. Um, but uh, it started off on Friday night with a fashion show. It did. And the concept was to have a fashion show the clothing was modeled on book covers. Right. Right? So Sandy, um, Sandy Rouse, who, who runs the Literary Festival, had seen someone took Met Gala looks and matched them to book covers. And she was talking with Elizabeth Catlin, who's on the board, mm -hmm. and she said, gosh, wouldn't it be so great if we could do something like this with book covers? And Elizabeth said, I think I know just the person. So... Uh, Elizabeth follows me on social media, uh -huh. and um, something that I have really developed a passion for is thrifting mm -hmm. and shopping secondhand. And I think I had mentioned this to you, you know, before the show. Growing up in sort of suburbia, uh, Delaware, Metro Philly, um, I grew up going to the mall, mm -hmm. and I, I was—I've always been a shopper. I've always loved fashion, and so. Um, now I do these curated, thrifted style bundles, people providing me inspiration photos, and then I go and source items for them. Uh -huh. And so Elizabeth came to me and said, Kate, what do you think about doing a fashion show for the literary festival? And I immediately said yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's do it. So we ended up, I think, with nine looks. Yeah. And all of our models were also locally sourced. That's right. Um, and they just had, it was so much fun. I'll bet it was. It was so much and fun. And you also emceed the I did. whole, the whole so fashion I, show. Yeah, so I got to introduce uh, everyone yeah. and the books. And the real thrill was um, there were some authors in the audience. And so some of them took, you know, images of our models and they posted it on their social oh, media great. and tagged me. And so it was a really positive response all That's overall. That's so great. Because when I first heard that idea, I thought, what? <laughs> How's this going to work? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, I just didn't know how that was going to get pulled up. But yeah. it, it was remarkable and it was really fun. It was so fun. And the thing that was cool is that you would see them walk out and you would see, and the, the book jacket would be um, Right, projected. so we projected the book jacket. Yeah. Then as they walked toward you, you saw the details mm -hmm. you know, that came from the mm -hmm. book jacket. It worked. Yes. It really worked. It was well, exciting. Well, thank you. And I have to also give some kudos to Experience Goods. And Morning Glorious Vintage yes. both agreed to lend me the clothing. Great. Um, and it's all available for sale. Um, so, so that was great, too. Oh, that's wonderful. So it was really local. It was, yeah, very, absolutely very local. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, and so with, with the vintage clothing that you're doing, it's a service. People hire you. Yes. To find. Shop for them. To shop for them. Yeah, I'm right. like a personal shopper. Which is something you enjoy doing, for I do. one thing. I do. Um, so much so that I now volunteer two hours a week at Experience Goods. Oh, you do? <laughs> I do. Besides that, what are your resources? Where, where are you going for thrift? I stay pretty local. I mean, mm -hmm. I hit Experience Goods and Goodwill on Putney Road, uh, Boomerang, mm -hmm. Twice Upon a Time. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's a lot of pockets yes. of, um, of secondhand clothing right in town. And then sometimes I'll head to Northampton yeah. or up to um, 
White River Junction. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. So no gatekeeping. There's enough to go around. Yeah. Um, we all should really be shopping secondhand. Yeah. So someone, in order to take advantage of the service that you're providing, yes. someone would get in touch with you, yes. and then you take it from there. But yep. you work with photographs, you said. Like someone will say, I'm looking for this kind of thing. Right. So I have a, um, a form that people can fill out, and oftentimes people have a Pinterest board. Oh. Do you know yeah, Pinterest? That would be helpful, yes. Yeah. So um, Pinterest is a service that you can sort of online pin, mm -hmm. and then I just get the link, um, I ask for folks' measurements, wow. and then I do three different um, sizes of bundles. Mm -hmm. I have repeat customers for mm -hmm. sure. Uh -huh. um, I get a lot, yeah, a lot of really positive feedback. Mm -hmm. So, Meanwhile, let me ask you, like, what your place at home is like where you're storing all this stuff. <laughs> well, that was the thing. Uh -huh. you, you know, you can be a really good shopper, but then you run out of room. Yeah. And so I didn't want to... Well, maybe someday. Maybe someday you'll see me on Main Street with my own store. Oh, but oh. until then, uh -huh. uh, the thrifted bundles are custom. So yes, right, I'm only right. purchasing what I'm sending mm -hmm. to my client. So mm -hmm. I'm not keeping a bunch of inventory. That's good. That's a good thing. I, and I bet your husband and your kids are yes. glad about that. Yes, yes. <laughs> but now they know, Mom, are you going thrifting? <laughs> well, you know, it's so funny because um, it's become a verb. It has, you yeah. You know, like I've... I've gone to thrift stores, I think, since before I was born uh -huh. and shopped that way. Um, and, you know, and church sales, mm -hmm. another yep. good place. For yes. Tag sales, church sales, all yes. that kind of thing. The things that I found are remarkable, as I, I'm sure you know. Yeah. It's amazing what you can find. The quality and then the price. Like, you could never buy these things off the rack firsthand, you know? Yes. Yeah. And also... Also, the fact of, I mean, there's this historical piece to it as well, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. you, when someone dies or when someone is ready to downsize mm -hmm. or move, mm -hmm. um, there are things that you are just ready to let go of. Mm -hmm. So I think what's so interesting is that the way that rhythm works in yeah. one's life. Yeah. You know, you're accruing, you're interested, everything is new, and then you've, you're, you know, in middle age, you've got your closet is full of different things, and then, you know, as you get older, it's different. Yeah. Um, and then you start letting go of things. Right, and right. I just think it's a very interesting thing um, to watch anthropologically. Right. Yes. You know? Well, and that's the ideal, but I think now with fast fashion, yeah. it's moved to a place where you know, some brands are releasing a new line every week. Yeah, right. And so the overconsumption and the push to buy, 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 mm -hmm. um, and the quality is not there, right? right. And right. so I think when I moved to Vermont, I mean, I had always gone to consignment shops and thrift stores, but moving here, it was like, oh, well, this is really my option in a lot of ways. And, um, and now it's really become my passion. I, I, yeah. I don't actually enjoy shopping in some of the big box stores anymore. Right, right. For um, a lot of, and the sustainability piece, of yeah, course, is another, exactly, another part exactly. Of it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think over 100 billion garments are produced globally a year. Yeah. 92 billion are sent to the landfill. Unbelievable. It's amazing. So. Um, Kate, this is great. <laughs> this is great. We could, we could so end fun. on a different note. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Which is, well, okay, so let's end on this note. Um, Going back to Gallery Walk, uh, the uh -huh. last Gallery Walk, which was October, beginning of October, um, my husband and I were going through, we were, you know, meeting friends, and uh, there were kids, you know, the kids running around, especially mm -hmm. the middle, eight, middle school age mm -hmm. kids are mm -hmm. so great. Everybody, you know, like, and it was a beautiful night, and uh, we were just sitting there watching it all and saying, you know, there's all this stuff going around outside of us. You know, there's the election, there's um, all the political strife, all of the you know, all the words that we are used to hearing now, divisiveness and et cetera, et cetera. And we looked around and said, you know, this is happening here in our town, this mm -hmm. amazing community coming together, and it's happening also all over our country. Absolutely. You know? I mean, I think something that I really learned at SIT was to think globally and act locally. Yeah, it's really true, it's right? It's really, yeah. really it's true. It's not just a bumper sticker. It's not. It's yeah. not. And so we can make positive impact within mm -hmm. our community, very tangible. Yeah. Um, we can share that experience together, That's right. right? We can be in dialogue. Yeah. Um, 
And I think Gallery Walk is, is a great platform um, for that. And a manifestation of it, yeah. which is even, you yeah. know, even more amazing. Right. Yeah. And so we still have, you know, Gallery Walk November and December. Mm-hmm. We'll have a tree lighting in Pliny Park. Nice. We'll be doing our holly lights and, and getting our um, town dressed up. So it, again, is, has that feel that you want to be. It's that experience. Yes. Um, I think Brattleboro is so special in a lot of ways. Um, One of the things that when I was first in this role, I kind of went on a listening and learning tour, Mm -hmm. talking to a lot of people. And one thing I heard over and over was this strong commitment to Brattleboro. Yeah. As well as a like, oh, we're we're just kind of right on that cusp of potential, right on that cusp of realizing. And I sort of sat with that for a while and I was like, huh, I don't know what the actualization looks like, but I feel like the magic Mm. is right where we are Mm. because anything feels possible. Mm. And I think people have a real feeling that they can make a difference in Brattleboro Mm. and they can have an impact in Brattleboro. Um, And that's what just makes it so special. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really great being here. Thanks to all of you for being with us and hearing about more about downtown Brattleboro and the great things that are happening, the great things that Kate's doing with her team of people, many people who are involved to make these things happen, um, all of us who make this happen. So thanks and tune in again next time. We'll be here. 